morning sounds. Hear that sound? That's the woodpeckers. Listen to them. That's what woke me up this morning. Right outside my window. So the York River has been up real high, uh, doing its usual spring flood, um, coming up well over the banks. Um, so anyway, um, I'm heading uh, heading down towards Crystal Lake today. Uh, as I said, I've spent the night up in, in Bancroft. Um, I'm on the banks of the York River. It's just beautiful early in the morning. You see all the creatures out, the beavers, deer. Like I saw a bunch of deer yesterday. Uh, the woodpeckers are just quite insane in this area, so like one will knock and We're just passing through uh, Furnace Falls right now. This place is called Furnace Falls. Furnace because iron was what they were extracting in this area. Uh, there's a lot to do with the old railways running through here, up towards Bancroft. Um, and of course, that's Furnace Falls behind me, I believe. Uh, just very scenic, as you probably guessed by now, I, I really do like the waterfalls. But uh, a little bit more in Crystal Lake really shortly here. Hang in. This is my mother here. She's a famous travel photographer. Um, or was, she slowed down a little bit as, as a tra travel photographer, but she's with me today. And uh, she's gonna be heading down to Crystal Lake. Maybe I can tempt her to go into the attic. You need to say hello to the uh, YouTubers. This is my mom. Hello YouTubers, this is the most fantastic place. So Kin Mount, we're heading south on the 121 down to uh, Noggies Creek. Road, I think it's called. Um, okay, guys, Crystal Lake. Here we go. This is the turn off Crystal Lake Road. This is going to take us finally to uh, Noggy's Creek here. Okay, here it is. Um, I must admit the maps are really confusing, uh, but I think this is the sp yeah, it is the spot where we park. Um, I'm here with the Senior Citizen Rock Hounding Committee. Um, we're off to see some peristatite and uranophane. So mom, this is a spot. Um, you can fit in underneath there like that or you can fit in over the top. So I'm, I'm sure we can push you in through the bottom. I think that'll work. 28, not 28. <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. And I'm a little overweight. How am no, I going to get through? Just, uh, we're just going to push you through underneath here and <laughs> slide the cane in <laughs> after you so you can go in. Michael! What we're looking at is... Uh, it's a calcite lens, I believe. Yes. And uh, I'm just letting the rock hounds know. It's a calcite lens. Within that, you've got some beautiful peristatite, which is a feldspar. And you're going to have this incredible peacock shimmer, like a bluish shimmer on top of it. And it's because of the different thicknesses of the, the layers of feldspar. Yes. That are, you know, the way they've come together and the way that the light is, is bent as it goes in and comes back out and it's how it alters the, the light waves. So this is what we're going to see inside. We're also going to see a little bit of uranophane, which is a, a radioactive um, seepage down the wall. Often it comes in these sort of spines, yeah. but in this particular case, it's, it's probably mixed in with the calcite, and it's just kind of deposited as this lumpy flowstone. I mean, I'm looking at marble here. So that's really telling me this is an area that's been heavily metamorphosed, um, metamorphosized. So right here you see a change, right? There's like a fault, which says to me this is probably the transition where you're moving into a, a different type of material. And there we go. I can see it right away. I can see the fill spars. Um, you can see the sort of flat edges. I mean, you can see it, right? That's not its... You see the, see the blue? You know, and it's all around here, it's getting more and more intense. You can see it all over the walls. Um, it's like a reddish sort of feldspar. And the gray stuff seems to, to be much better for the purple flashes. Like, oh, look, yeah, look at that, eh? You can see the yellow, that's the uranophane, the radioactive stuff. There we go, look at that, eh? Isn't that beautiful? So that's what the walls are like, that's your peristatite shining from many, many layers of a relatively translucent sort of feldspar. You can see. Yeah, look at that. Look at the very 
Okay, look at that. Okay, and you can see it's in a feldspar, but you can also see the depositions that you sort of yellowish underneath. So that's what we're talking about. Look at this stuff, eh? So that's your radioactive sort of coming down like a like a flow stone. I believe it's it's uranophane. So kind of light it up here. A little disappointed. I don't want to touch this stuff. A little disappointed that mom didn't didn't actually I couldn't she wouldn't fit through the bottom. She kept kicking out and thrashing and making it impossible to fit her down here. So I'm having to sell video again. Uh, but anyway, here we are behind me the uranophane. Uh, I've seen other sort of it's always the the radioactive stuff is always quite intense in its, in its coloring. So you have a look at it, like a bit of a close-up. Maybe I'll take some pictures for you. Oh, here it is kind of up close. You call that botroidal formations, in other words, from the Greek for, for grapes. Sort of like a rounded, it's kind of crossing the line between flowstone from a caving perspective and uh, the geology kind of thing with the minerals, right? So we've got a caving formation with minerals and down at the bottom, you see little runestone dams starting to form, which is pretty cool. See that sort of, kind of a, I can't really point at it and film at the same time, but that's what you'd call a uranophane or rimstone dam. Uh, next thing you know, you're going to have radioactive cave pearls. That's kind of an interesting concept. So anyway, I think I'm going to head back out and have a quick look at the beach before I go. Uh, the, the cobblestone beach. Down that hole, just stay in the bottom and pull my legs. So that I can get right into the cave. Okay, truth be known, okay, everybody. Okay. You have no intention of doing that and you're just leading everyone else along. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm you are. You'll have to get right out so that I can slip in first, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it like inside? Uh, typical for a mine. Uh, it started getting a little stuffy deeper in, but. Uh, it yeah, there's a, a beautiful sort of area with a with the feldspar and all yeah. the parasitite shining up against the Oh, I'm looking wall. forward to seeing it. Yeah. No creatures, Mom. Not even worms. <laughs> no worms. <laughs> here's, our, here's our mine explorer here. So, I mean, here's an example. It's almost like the finished spectrolite, this stuff. Um, you can, especially if you're at the water's edge, you start to see sort of glints. Uh, it's easy to see it at the water's edge and you can more quickly pick out pieces there's a piece. Let's have a look here. Uh, okay. You know, some pieces are sort of second rate. A lot of pieces are. Some pieces are absolutely amazing. So, always, it's the greenish gray material. It's like a greenish gray. It's pretty translucent. You find it up here, dip it in the water so you can see, you know, if it truly is the stuff because it shines up much better. But this is the kind of stuff you're going to end up cabbing and it'll make the most beautiful, beautiful pendant style gem material. Piece. Do you? Yes. Mum claims she's found a good piece. Let's have a look. This is beautiful. Look at that. I've washed it, cleaned it off. Look oh, at I that. see, I see. You've got a bit of a... Oh. That's a big bit. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Let's try and get a... Oh, let me dip it in the Michael. water. Let me dip it in the water and get a better... There we go. Look at that. Big score for the seniors. Yeah, definitely working down at the water's edge. Um, I think it's the faces when you see a face in this greenish, greenish gray material. Uh, that's where you're going to find your nice peristatite. But you pretty well know the whole lump when when it's capped properly will will shine like this, right? Or or have this iridescence to it. So it's really it's this beach here you want to be on the one beforehand. Not quite as good. This seems to be where they dumped most of the material that came from the... Uh, you see that hole there? That's my hole. I think it's my hole. Maybe it's someone else's. I can't recall, but that hole there tells you you're on the right beach. This is where you find your best peristatite. Right around here. And this my mother gets it all. Going out with her cane. Looks like we've got ourselves another rock hound here. You certainly have it. Obviously a, a cane is an essential part of the collecting uh, experience here. Sounds like they're opening up the dam here. Let's see if we can see Noggy's Creek take a tidal wave.